Hey you guys, let's do a quick little toolbox video about how you can uh, manipulate how many decimal places are being shown and how you can remove scientific notation if that's something that you don't like. So I've noticed that a whole bunch of people uh, think that if we get numbers like this, like 2.2, 2.2e-15, uh, e uh, that that is a big number. And it's not. This is, this is just in scientific notation, where we need to shift the decimal place 15 places to the left. So if we were to write it out in just like standard format, it'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 2, 2. So this is just scientific notation. It's just a way to compactly write uh, this uh, this really really small number but it throws some people off and I understand that so sometimes what we want to do is we want to like make this smaller we want to know how can we in fact or, or how can we just make it show the decimals so that we can you know for some of our problems in class we just want to four decimal places so we just want to copy and paste how can we play around with that okay well there's a couple ways that, that we can do this first things first uh, let's kind of get an example in here. So I already have some data loaded in and I'm just going to run a single sample t-test. Uh, I've got some data up here. This is just fine and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So when I've got this, I have it, this one sample t-test, it's really, the t is really, really big, which means that my p-value is really, really small, so it's really, really unlikely. And we notice that in some places that I want maybe four decimal places, like here, it's showing three, that's probably because it's rounding down to three. Um, but let's say that I want to force it to give me some more, and I want to force it to not give me scientific notation and there's a way that we can do this. Now what we're actually playing with is going to be the number of significant digits uh, that are displayed. Now the significant digits, are, while they are, uh, they are related to the number of decimal places shown, they're not exactly the same, uh, and I'm not going to dive into a whole discussion on significant digits, just know that that's what we're actually playing with here. So when we go and type in options, and we type this inside of our studio. We go options and then we can type in digits. And this is how many significant digits we want to show. Okay, so most of the time it's default of seven is plenty. Um, but sometimes, especially if we have big numbers and we're still trying to show four decimal places, seven significant digits is not enough. So I found that like if we do a significant digits of 12, uh, that's typically way more than we actually need. So we can do digits equals 12, and then to get rid of the scientific notation, we do what's called, it's this weird psi pen. And basically, it's what we need to tell it is how many decimals are we going to show before we kick over into scientific notation. So if you like never want scientific notation, just put in some huge number. Uh, now, if you like scientific notation, like I, I actually like scientific notation, it makes sense to me, uh, then I would just leave that alone. And you don't have to do, do this side pen part. You can just play around with the digits uh, if you need to be playing around with how many decimals are being shown. But anyhow, let's put in that side pen equals 999. And we're going to hit enter, and it looks like that absolutely nothing has happened. And you're right, all that we've done is we've reset the settings. If we want to actually see this done, we need to run our command again. So I'm just going to come up here, I'm going to highlight this little line of data that I did, and I'm going to click submit. Oh, hold on, let me just run this thing again. We'll go from the means, and we'll just run it from here. And there we go, now notice. Our T, we have way more decimal places. Our p-value, it has provided us our p-value. Our alternative hypothesis, and we have our confidence intervals, and we have just gotten us a ton more decimal places and removed scientific notation. So not hard, uh, but this little line right here, every time that you open up our studio, like so let's say you close out of our studio and you open up a brand new session, it automatically goes back to its default settings. And so if you want to get rid of that scientific notation and increase the number of decimals shown again, you need to run this little line of code and just inside of our studio. 
So that's how you can kind of manipulate with getting some more digits if you need them and how to remove scientific notation. So hopefully that helps you out. Good luck, you guys.